Greetings, friend. I'll give you the three best times to use advanced strategies in Sudoku competition. In fact, you're going to need at least one advanced strategy to solve this puzzle for round four, so you need to stick around to see how to do that. Click below and give it a go, and with that, it's solving time. The first thing you want to notice is where are there a lot of givens already? And you probably notice we're, we're full of them here in columns four and six. So I participated in round four and I did work on this puzzle. I actually got solved pretty quickly. So I want to kind of show you how to do that. If you look here, you go, okay, we only need two more digits, right? And so you want to look and go, okay, which of these three are not in here? And you'll notice that there's not a five, right? But the five can't be in that spot. So you know this has to be your five and that has to be your one. And then kind of do the same thing. Five, eight, nine, what's missing here? It looks like we don't have a nine. So the nine's gotta be up there and then this would be your three. All right, and then very quickly, you can look up here and go, I need a one and six. I see a six in row one. So that's gotta be your six. That's gotta be your one. We come down here and we know that's a two, four. And it's easy to mark a naked pair for the two, four, you know, when you're doing pencil marking, not a big deal. And then I look right here and go, okay, I got a seven, eight, nine. I do see the nine and eight. And so you can put the seven right there. And then this is going to be an eight, nine. All right. Next thing you want to do is kind of look, all right, let's look in rows, you know, two or eight. Since row two has that one, two, three, four, five, it kind of screams out to you to, hey, look at me. So what we need is a six, seven, eight, nine. You probably notice there's a nine right here and a six and an eight. I did see this and go, okay, this has to be now a naked single seven. And now with this nine and eight, this has got to be your six. And if you come over here, I already have a nine right there. So there's your nine and there's your eight. And so this is the kind of stuff you're looking for, right? You want to see where there's a lot of givens to start filling in quickly. The best uh, competitive Sudoku players, they, I see them focus on blocks and then they're not got a block and not got a house, you know, row common block. That is the way to go versus just strict cross hatching through the grid multiple times. And then you see what you just marked. You got the nine here and a nine here, and you have a nine across row seven. So you know you can mark solve a nine for right there. And then cutting across row seven and nine with this nine means you have to have a nine in that spot. And so those are the kind of things you can find. Also see these fours, two fours here. I mean now there's only one place left for four up here in block one. So as you see and you fill in, you see some opportunities, you want to take those opportunities. And then where can a one be down here in block seven? Well, it can't be anywhere else in the column one or row nine. So the one's got to be right there. You got this one as well. And so those are the kind of things you can see and mark off pretty quickly. And then you might notice here that there's a restriction with this five, right? Where can a five be in block four? Well, it can't be in any of these spots and it can't be there. So there's only two spots for five. So this is called a pointing pair. And what that does for us is it means that the fives are limited now in column three to block four. And so they can't be anywhere else in column three. And if you look up here in block one, a five can't be in those spots. And now because it's pointing pair, a five can't be there. So we can actually solve for a five right there. So pointing pairs are one of the top seven strategies needed to solve Sudokus like this. If you want to solve Sudoku even better, especially competition Sudokus or New York Times hard, click on the pin comment below and download that free solving guide. I even give you links to YouTube shorts that will help you get even better at solving these types of Sudokus. And so we got the five there. You can see with this eight coming down and these two eights, we can actually solve for an eight here in block seven. And then what's nice is you always want to look for lock candidates. So now you put that eight right there. I remember seeing that this is a nice naked triple. So it's locked. That means it's in column two and it's in block four. So that means a two, three, seven uh, can only be in these three can these, these three cells. And what I, you notice is you got this two here and the two seven. So that's my famous. And I would like to show you my neat naked triple trick. Whenever you have two of the three missing cans in one row and then the other one's repeated in another row, you can solve all three. Because you know this has to be the three, this has to be the seven, and that's got to be your two. And what's even better is you can go and you can do the same thing right here to these three cells, right? Because you need a five, six, or an eight. I see a six and eight right there and a six right there. So you know this has to be the five, that has to be the eight, and that has to be the six. 
And great. And when you're making those marks, you kind of come over and go, okay, what does that give me in the grid? It gives me that 9.8 right there. And now I got some restrictions right here. Can we capitalize on those restrictions? The answer is yes. First, you want to see these sevens. You see how this seven's coming up. And so you can do that for a seven, which creates a now a full house. And so there's only one possibility left, which is a three. We always want to get those full houses. Then you look right here and you go, okay, there's only a five or a nine. You got the nine there and the five there. So I can solve those pretty quickly. And you're like, okay, Timberlake, not a big deal. Looks like I can solve this just like all the other competitors. Have. No, you're going to get to a point where you'll get stuck. And I'm going to show you those three times when you want to pull out and start using those advanced strategies. So what we need right here is a one or a four. Nice. And now you can take these fives and you got this five in row seven. So you can solve this for a five. And it's going to start getting a little slower here as we try to look and solve things. You know, we have these two eights with this eight means we can solve for an eight up there. That's good. But you'll notice there's only a you know two, three available here. I'll mark it. And then we can notice, you know, you got these two sevens here. So there's only one place left for a seven and we kind of work here on row nine. I got a two, four right there. I need a two, four, six. I got a six right here. So here's your six. And then this looks like it's going to be your two, four. And then come over here and we got this six. So we can solve this for a six, which leaves us with a two, three right there. And then with these sevens and these sevens, we can solve for a seven up there. And now at this point, you're going to get a little stuck. There's really no other cells you can solve. And I remember kind of looking at this, but I actually did pretty pretty quick because I found the advanced strategy. And so when you get to this point and you're looking around and you've just not seen any more cross acting, you want to fill in those cells and go, okay, that's got to be a two, four. This has got to be a three, four. Okay. And you got a one, two, three, four up here. So this would be, looks like a one, two, three, and this would be a one or a three. And we'll fill in the last two cells, one, two, three, four here. You got the three already. So that's a one, two, four. And then this cell, it looks like it is a one, three, four. All right, so this brings us up to our first best time to use an advanced strategy. The first time I'd tell you, and you're not gonna see it in this particular puzzle, but I actually did use that. It's when it saves time. So if you see an advanced strategy right away and it's gonna save time, a lot of times I see stuff like unique rectangles and put it in there and do it. It may not be the intended solve path but if you know you can solve it logically by seeing that advanced strategy great in fact i'll show you a puzzle where i used unique rectangles and competitive sudoku to solve that puzzle a little quicker so i'll put a link to it at the end you want to check that out the second time is when you're like right here when you're getting stuck you know and so you, you fill in this out and you go okay i'm getting a little stuck now you need to look for an advanced strategy because we can have kind of like a blind eye when you think okay it can't be beyond the top seven strategies. You know, there can't be anything more complicated than a hidden pair or a naked triple. And that's not the case. This puzzle actually has an advanced strategy. You're not going to be able to solve this with hidden pairs or naked triple. And what I don't like is I don't like bifurcating because if you're put in a bifurcation, it means you just say, hey, this is a two and you work from there. Very easy to do on the computer. But in the Grand Prix, we're printing out the puzzles and you have to write them in pencil. So you have to undo all those marks and that can get a little messy uh, and maybe you can use some kind of uh, marking like circles or little a b's but again i want to solve this logically and so it brings up to the third time and the third time is when the puzzle demands it and so in this case i actually was quick i was you know i was a little stuck but i quickly saw the advanced strategy i needed to get through this puzzle and i was able to kind of move on without taking more than a few seconds we want to look at these cells right here and if you look at those three cells, you'll notice that the threes are limited in columns one and eight to the same two rows, rows one and eight. And this is an X-wing. So a three has to be here and here, or it has to be here and here. And since that's the case, we can eliminate every other three across row one and row eight. So we can eliminate a three from this cell right here. And this is what I found when I was solving it. What's kind of neat is that there's actually another x-wing that you could have found uh, i didn't see it but this one popped out at me especially because i saw those two three pairs and i thought they had something to do with helping to solve the puzzle uh, the other one you can find is with the twos you can notice right here in columns three and seven that the twos i'll use blue the twos are limited to rows three 
and 7. Okay? And so what the case here is the 2's got to be there and there, or it's got to be there and there. So you can eliminate a 2 right here. That cannot be a 2. This is great stuff. And the UK guys, I thought these puzzles were a little bit harder than round 3, but I did appreciate this. I actually did find uh, the 3's, and I was able to move on from right there. If you're just not familiar with how X-Wings work, I did make an X-Wing and Skyscraper tutorial. I'll put a link to it right here. You can check that out. And while you're at it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies to solve Sudoku using these advanced strategies even better. Okay, let's take care of our colors and let's move on with the solve here. All right. So once you see that that has to be a one, mark that for a one. And now it's going to help us with our puzzle pretty quick here. And actually, once you know that this has to be a four, we can mark that for four and mark for that for a two. That's a four. That's a three. That's a four. And you see with all these BVCs, you know, this is going to go pretty quick, right? Three, two, three. And it's a lot better than having to erase uh, marks that, you know, in case you bifurcated and you guessed wrong. So one, four, and a one. You need to watch this other video if you want to get better at solving competitive Sudoku using advanced strategies. Thank you so much for watching.